Now that you know the six steps for implementing a workflow in Monday.com, let's start with step number one, defining the workflow. First, let's define what a workflow is and what it isn't. A workflow can be defined as a sequence of tasks or steps. It is the path that describes how something goes from being undone to done. Think about the steps to manage a project, from ideation through creation to delivery, or an approval process for a marketing asset, from design to content to final approval. Basically, workflows are at the heart of every business. However, not everything you manage is a workflow. For example, you might have a repository of your clients' names and phone numbers. As long as the data stays static, it is not a workflow. Let's return to Patricia and Lucky Llama Space Travel. We have so many applications from the people who want to join one of our space trips. I keep a list of all the applicants' information in a spreadsheet. Since it's just a list, I would say this part is not a workflow. But to be eligible to join one of our space trips, the applicants then enter a qualification flow, phone interviews followed by a physical evaluation, and then a wellness review. If the applicants pass all of those, they qualify to enter the lottery. Since the applicants are moving from step to step, this part is a workflow. That's correct. Now that we've defined what a workflow is and what it's not, we can break down a workflow into either a project or a process. A project is a set of tasks which must be completed in order to arrive at a particular goal or outcome. In my case, we're planning and executing the tasks for our three intergalactic launches, commissioning the rocket ship, planning the itinerary, and ordering our supplies. Now let's define what a process is. A process is a set of repeatable and predictable steps which multiple entities go through to reach a specific outcome. Like how each of our applicants goes through the same repeatable steps to qualify for entering the lottery. When defining our workflow, whether it's a process or a project, we need to understand what we're managing. We call that thing an entity. When defining a project workflow, we manage the project itself. Therefore, the project is the entity. So those killer intergalactic trips I'm managing, each of those is a project and therefore the entity. However, in a process, we manage multiple entities that go through the same set of steps. Just like all of our applicants in the qualification flow. In that case, each applicant is an entity. You got it, Patricia. Now let's wrap this up. In this video, we've talked about workflows and what makes them so. We also discussed projects and processes, and finally, we've defined and demonstrated what entities are. Time to put your newfound knowledge to the test with our quick knowledge check. 